hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your favorite girl z to the u r a z r a a ubibi sai girl da <laughs> if you're new on my youtube channel i want to say you are welcome to my channel in this channel i do all things skincare lifestyle and beauty tips if that sounds like something you are interested in Please do well to hit the subscribe button down below to join this family to get subscribed to my YouTube channel and of course turn on your post notification to get notified on my next video and if you indeed find this video helpful and useful please do well to give this video a big thumbs up guys it makes me happy and it helps push my video out there the more okay for my returning subscribers i want to say thank you so much all my subscribers i want to say thank you so much like you guys are the real mvps and i love you guys so 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 much without you guys i won't even be creating content i want to say thank you so much guys for everything and let's get right into the video guys from the title of this video you already know what this video is all about like you already know what i'm going to be talking about it's all about sunscreen 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 yes i'm back again with sunscreen mm -hmm. in your skincare routine if sunscreen is not inclusive in your skincare routine then you're doing rubbish it's like pouring water into a basket is waste you're just wasting your skincare products so um in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to use a sunscreen properly what sunscreen is all about and also i'm going to be making a review on the three sunscreens that i have used so far and i'll be telling you guys which of them is my favorite if you think this video is something that you know you're interested in please keep on watching guys and let's get right into the topic okay So guys, I'm going to be starting off with what is a sunscreen. Now, a sunscreen is what you apply on your skin to prevent your skin from the harmful rays of the sun. Now, when I'm talking about your skin, I'm talking about your face, your hands, your whole body. Like you apply it all over your whole body, especially when you're putting on exposing clothes, like something like what I'm putting on, your hands are exposed, your neck your face are also exposed okay guys so you apply that sunscreen on those areas to prevent your to prevent the skin from the harmful rays of the sun now that we know what a sunscreen is we'll go over to spf now what is an spf you notice that in some of these sunscreen that you buy you are always seeing spf 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 now spf is called the sun protective factor sun protective factor that is what an xpf is all about and now there's something they call xpf number now this spf number varies it could be 15 it could be 20 it could be 30 it could be 60 it could be 70 and also it could also be 90 as the case may be this spf number helps to measure how long it will take for the sun's uv ray right that's the radiation to actually redden your skin when using the sunscreen like when using the product as directed okay to be used versus when you are not using the sunscreen products on your skin do you guys understand so if you're using spf 30 on your skin for example it's going to take 30 times longer 30 times longer for you to start feeling that sun bond for you to start feeling the bond like the sun on your skin before the sun will be able to penetrate and then you know into your skin barrier that's just what this spf number it's all about so guys when getting a sunscreen you should look out for the sunscreen if it has uva and uvb written on the pack on it that's the kind of sunscreen you should be getting don't get a sunscreen that has only uva or that has only uvb on it it has to have both because both um if it contains both it's working two ways for you it's not just doing one thing and leaving the other one it's doing the both for uva rays okay they have a longer wavelength which means that they can penetrate deep into your skin causing skin aging wrinkles and also tanning of the skin why for uvb rays they have a short 
wavelengths they only penetrate like the surface of your skin they can just hit the surface of your skin causing redness and also sunburn i hope you guys are following me i hope you're following this lecture okay so when you're getting a sunscreen it should have both uva and uvb and also try to get a sunscreen that is from spf 30 above so now i'm going to give you, giving you guys a review on the three sunscreen that i have used so far and number one on the list all of them are very good it depends on what you are going for okay and number one on the list for me that i have used the first sunscreen i use is the Deza sunscreen this Deza sunscreen it's spf 19 it's waterproof it has both uva and uvb protection and all of that is very good for hyperpigmentation and also for dark spots okay it helps now one thing i don't like about this particular sunscreen is that it leaves a white cast that is my own observation it leaves a white cast and it takes longer before it actually penetrates into your skin now when i talk about white cast when you apply it on your face it's just there it takes very long before it to actually dissolve into your skin penetrates into your skin it takes very long time sometimes 20 minutes 30 minutes before it will even start you know to dissolve in your skin and i don't like it i don't like white cars but if you're the type that likes the white cars like you have the patience me i don't have the patience if you have the patience you actually wait 40 minutes 30 minutes before your sunscreen penetrates into your skin then fine you can go for the days as sunscreen it's a very good sunscreen the second um sunscreen that i'm going to be talking about is the vit gold sunscreen it also has spf 90 and also um it helps for hyperpigmentation it helps for dark spots it's waterproof it has both uva and uvb protection and also one thing i like about this sunscreen also is that it's um when you use it on your skin it leaves your skin feeling smooth like it gives your skin this smooth texture yeah so that's one thing i like about it but also it leaves um, white cast now that is my own one thing i don't like about it as well that's why i stopped using it okay. now the third on the list that i'll be sharing with you guys is my favorite of them all and the sunscreen that i am presently using that is the gavia sunscreen okay guys gavia sunscreen this is the sunscreen that i have been using this is the sunscreen i have been using for quite some time now and this is my favorite between the other two that i mentioned now this gave you a sunscreen it has um a whitening they said it's both whitening what is written here it's it's um sunblock and whitening cream though i've not seen the whitening whatever you know whitening when you say whitening like it makes you lighter or something like that i've not noticed that with this um sunscreen okay but it's a very good sunscreen and it has spf 60 i don't know if you guys can see it down here spf 60 and it's excellent sun protection i'm reading what is written here excellent sun protection brightening and lightening effects um excellent protection against radiation uva and uvb with vitamin c and also water resistance now i like i said earlier when going for a sunscreen you have to go for a sunscreen that has both what uva and uvb sun protection now this has it is a very good sunscreen for me and it does not leave a white cast on my face like the other two that i just mentioned so guys the first thing i do when i before using my sunscreen the first thing i start off with my skincare routine you always want to cleanse your face first then you go in with your toner now your toner is always optional it's optional for me i love using my toner my face toner after my face toner i then go in with my vitamin c serum after using that i go in with my moisturizer after my moisturizer that is when you go in with your 
sunscreen your sunscreen should always be the last thing you use on your face but before i go into the application of the sunscreen i would like to share with you guys some tips you need to know before applying your sunscreen so before applying your sunscreen you should apply your sunscreen 15 minutes before you leave the house like before you enter the sun your sunscreen should be applied 15 minutes before you go outside out there into the sun and also you should also apply your sunscreen even when you are in the house when you are indoors your sunscreen should be applied your sunscreen should not be applied at night you only use your sunscreen when the sun is up sunscreen <laughs> not moon screen and one last tip is before applying your sunscreen you should allow your moisturizer to absorb into your skin before you use your sunscreen so with that guys let's get into the application of the sunscreen so when you want to apply your sunscreen you should always use the two finger method rule i think something like um one ounce that is two tablespoon yeah so you the two finger rule that means you apply your your sunscreen from this end to this end here and then from this other end to this other end the two finger rule that's how you should apply your sunscreen the sunscreen is almost finished i pray it's enough so i'm going to apply it right now I told you guys oops we we'll use that letter i told you it's almost finished so i'm just going to try to apply it across just one i've done the first one so i'm going to be doing the second one right now my sunscreen is almost finished guys so it's coming out in bits yeah so just like this this is how you want to apply your sunscreen just from one end to the other end from this one to this other one the two finger method that's how you should apply your sunscreen and when you want to apply your sunscreen do not forget your ears your neck the back of your neck your hands whatever that is exposed you can apply the sunscreen there okay so i'm just going to apply it right now on my face this way guys can you see can you see this can you see how effortlessly this absorbs into my skin leaving no white cast let me come closer so you guys can actually see it can you guys see it absorbs into my skin so well like no white cast nothing yeah and i am protected from this harmful sun ray like from sun radiation and all of that so this gave you sun block that is why i said it is the best for me if you're looking for a good sun block to use that doesn't leave a white cast i advise i recommend you go for the gave you sun block okay guys so we've come to the end of this video guys if you did enjoy this video please do well to give this video a big thumbs up and also, if you are yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button down below to join this amazing and wonderful family. And also, don't forget to turn on your post notification and leave a comment down below. If there is anything you want me to make a review on, just leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to deliver the video to you guys. Okay, guys? So, till I see you again in my next video. Until then, guys. Bye. I love you guys.